A very good morning, good evening and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is a new year and in this new year we talking about stuff. Actually, first of all before I can talk about that stuff, let me just tell you that this podcast is daily. Days every single day there is something you're going to find on the Live Signatures podcast by God's grace. It's been able to be that way for the past three or so years and therefore we have over 1,666 episodes while we are counting. And therefore in the past two or three days, we've been talking about the new year and we've been talking about the five things. There could be more, but five things that bring despair in the new year when people are celebrating and say, yeah, and so on. Someone else is saying like, what is there to celebrate? There are some five things that I've discovered that could be bedeviling those ones who are not celebrating the new year. And I was discussing them and seeing how we can be able to deal with them. Today, let us add one more. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So first of all, you need to realize one thing that there is not a straight line of momentum. Okay, there's not a straight smooth line in life, even as you're beginning the new year. You're going to be interrupted by some things in this new year. Okay, you're going to be interrupted by some things and the degree that you are going to be successful not just in the new year, but throughout life, is the degree to which we're able to circumnavigate, to overcome and to master these distractions. Actually, one of my original quotes about success is that it is a continuous mastery over challenges. Now, despair is one of those challenges that you will face. The new year has begun. We say the new year begins with hope. It begins with promise. It begins with a, a psychological new for you to look forward to and expect better things in your life, professionally and personally. But on, on January 2nd, what happens? Reality hits home after the celebrations and the fireworks. Reality hits home. Why? We've said that, first of all, one of those things that causes you to despair is disappointments been disappointed well enough this is a dangerous thing disappointment can be very dangerous because it has a forward-looking momentum in that people do not want to venture again because they were disappointed i don't want to love again all men are dogs i don't want to love again all women are bitches i don't want to love again excuse my french okay oh i don't want to try and make my bid for that contract i lost i put in quite a bit of money but i lost the contract I don't want to try again. You are disappointed and now you're making undertaker, undertaker-like decisions for your life. Anyway, you can review this four episodes back, I think. Uh, secondly, we talked about fatigue. Uh, three episodes back, you can review. Yesterday, we talked about fatigue. The reason as to why you're fatigued could not be because... There's a lot of work. It could be because of other things. You can listen to yesterday's uh, uh, episode and then we can take a look at it. You can learn one or two things. Today, I want us to take about, talk about the subject matter that I've been talking about all along. Despair. 
The new year begins, but people, pockets of people around the world on 2nd January are in despair. Different causes to this. Some do not have jobs. Some, like I said the, the other day, do not have babies. They are expecting babies. They don't have babies. Some, their babies that they have had have gone delinquent and have not come back home. Some, their companies are supposed to increase and they have not. Some, the tax money is on their neck. Despair. It's a mental state. But you see, your mental state is very extremely important. It's one of, see, people normally think that assets, right? Assets are tangible. Yeah, we know of tangible assets. Technically, we know of tangible assets. But let me tell you, if your mental state is not okay, it really doesn't matter how many tangible assets you have. Those tangible assets will end up going to someone who has a stable mental state. So your mental state is the number one asset that you have. It's a key component of success. In fact, if you wanted to be successful, you cannot be ignorant of your mental state. So this new year, some of you, your mental state is in disarray. You cannot be careless about it either. Despair, it is a feeling. It's a feeling of hopelessness with the future. As in, there's no future. And by the way, this, if it goes on, this despair has seen people take their lives because they don't see any light tomorrow. And therefore, they don't see any reason for being there tomorrow because there's no light. There's no hope. There's no promise for tomorrow. There's no expectation. There's no fulfillment of expectation tomorrow. So, let me check out. See ya. Bye-bye. It's a bad thing. It's a mental state. And sometimes this mental state, if you're not careful, it's illusionary. It's an illusionary moment. In other words, the things you believe are factual in, in the dark side. Okay? Bad news that is impending. It could be illusionary. And it could be just a misinterpretation of the facts of today. The fact today is that you don't have a child. It's a fact. But you don't know about tomorrow. And so, instead of hoping for tomorrow, what do you do? You say, I'm never ever going to have a child forever. And therefore, despair sets in. Everywhere you look, you do not see a respite. This can cause you to despair. Perhaps the deepest feeling of despair is when you have absolutely nothing to look forward to, including the projects that you want to do. In other words, there is nothing going on in your life. Nothing. Nothing seemingly enterprising. Nothing seemingly productive going on in your life. And yet you have very many needs to be met. Quite a number of people are despairing over the new year. And they have no clue how this year is going to pan out. As a matter of fact, they have started the year so much demotivated and in a slump of a personal paralysis. But there is hope. And I want to speak to you. There is hope. And I bet you that this might not be the first time this is happening to you. You're not new to this. If you ever kept a journal, you can finish a moment of years or even months. You can fish out all these moments, all these years in your journal where you thought you would not go through. But look what, where you are right now. Look what you've done. You went through them. There is hope. See, what despair is after, it is after inactivity. It is after silence. No motion, no speech, no nothing. 
And the only place where that happens is the graveyard. That's what despair is after. If despair is prolonged, that's where you end up. Both metaphorically and actually in reality. Metaphorically because when you end up doing nothing, you are living dead, you are eating, you are sleeping, probably back at your mother's house, but nothing is going on enterprising, but you are wasting away. And ultimately you can end up dying. In fact, some, sometimes dying early. How, how, how often do you see people who retire dying? So the antidote of despair, the antidote of despair is to do something enterprising. Now let me define for you something enterprising. It is something, number one, that you are passionate about. Something that actually you can work on. A project, find a project that you can work on. Whether it's going to pay you or not should not be the uh, characteristic or should not be the features that you're looking for in that particular project. I just want you to find something that you're passionate about. Is it singing? Is it uh, taking care of babies? Even if nobody pays you for this, do something. Be in motion. Do something. Uh, the third day of you being in motion, something catches up. For some reason, hope is normally given to people and becomes tangible to those who are in motion. Those who are sedentary and they're not moving, that's why a hospital bed is not a, such a good place for people to be in. And I pray for you if you are listening to me in a hospital bed that as, lo, as soon as you hear this message, rise up in Jesus' name. Rise up from that particular bed. Be healed. Believe in your healing. Be healed and rise up. Receive that healing and start moving. I mean, get off that garment of despair. You are called to be productive. That's why you are alive in this day and in this time. Rise up. Embrace this new year. Probably for you, it's a new week. Maybe it's a new day. It's a new hour. I don't know. It's a new month. Embrace this with hope by being enterprising and starting to do something and building on the momentum that you've created. Soon enough, you don't know that animal called despair. It's not there anymore. But I warn you, if you keep doing nothing, and the, probably the, the most that you do is maybe just play games, nothing enterprising, nothing productive, you're dying. Don't. We need you. Tomorrow we'll look at something else. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.